Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Judith and my business is called Dutch Design Inc. I make handmade hair accessories, craft supplies and I sew baby clothing and embroider it. So um, yes, I am starting in English again and I really wanted to explain why and also show you some footage that I filmed from the market so this is a market video um, it is now Wednesday and last weekend I had a market from three days and yeah um, there was a lot of new things that I did there and I'm going to explain everything and I also wanted to let you know what sold the best so um, give you a little bit of insight in my uh, business um, so yes, first of all, um, I'm going to place the footage that I filmed um, over me talking and um, explaining why I am in English again and not in Dutch. So um, yeah, I did two videos in Dutch and I really wanted to know if it would pick up here in the Netherlands, my videos, so um, that's why I tried it. Um, there are going to be some changes in my business. Um, I'm still doing everything I'm doing now. There are some uh, small big changes that, I'm, that are going to happen but um, nothing really big involving. So I uh, do craft fairs in the Netherlands and um, yeah I wanted to know if my videos would be watched by Dutch people so that's why I did two videos in Dutch so um, yeah but that was not the case uh, they got a lot less views than when I do it in English and that is explainable because um, if I'm doing my videos in English uh, everyone in the whole world can watch them and if I do them in Dutch only uh, the people in the Netherlands can watch them and the people that can understand Dutch. So um, that's explainable and uh, I saw that the videos really didn't pick up here in the Netherlands so I decided um, that my business is going to be um, a part of YouTube but it's not um, all about my business. Business is a part and YouTube is a part and um, it's overlapping a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you. Uh, that I am only doing English videos again. And thank you so much for sticking around. If you saw my two Dutch videos and you are not unsubscribed. Because thank you so much. Um, yeah, I just really struggled a little bit there. And um, this is a process also in my business that I had to figure out. And um, so I figured it out and um, it's going to be English. About the craft fair. So on Thursday we went to Rijswijk. That is a place near Den Haag. Um, so on the left side of the Netherlands. And um, that was... I think we did about two hours to get there uh, because I had to uh, charge my car um, so two hours then we were there uh, we were there at I think half past 11 so um, we started early and we were done at um, half past four I think so we needed a lot of time to set up um, because from half past 11 to half past 4 is a lot of time. Um, what was the difference this time is that I gave workshops the whole weekend. And that the uh, market booth was only 3 meters instead of 4. So then the workshops, that was all new to me. I haven't done that before. And um, I was going to give 3 separate workshops. So with the hand lettering workshop you got a brush pen and some uh, practice sheets that I made myself. Then the creative journal workshop. Um, you could bring your own journal or buy a little journal from me. Um, 
I will show you. Let me get it. So if you didn't have your journal with me, you could buy a little journal from me. Um, and what we were going to do was you got a little package with uh, stickers, papers and all the things you needed. So you could make some beautiful pages in your journal. This is also one that I made at the event. So um, yeah, it was really fun. And then also I gave a workshop uh, using beads to make a necklace and a bracelet. Um, that workshop did a little bit flop because um, when I had small kids, I had to be constantly watching them um, and helping them. And um, I couldn't help other people with the other workshops. So I um, only did one and then I got everything from the table and um, didn't give that workshop uh, the whole weekend. Because it was just too much work and I really love doing the creative journal workshop. So what I did um, every time someone was at my table to do the workshop, I did the workshop with them and explained how I make my creative journal. And doing those steps with them and seeing how they, um, yeah, they craft and they uh, place everything and just are so joyful with doing what they do and it was just really some small uh, girls were at my table and they just really glowed up and they loved doing the crafts with me so it was really fun and then the hand lettering workshop i gave three and um yeah so i didn't have to be there with them because they had practice sheets uh, but they also really loved them and I got really great feedback from that. Um, so the creative journal workshop I gave 17 times in the... Um, no, sorry. Uh, 16 times. 16 times, then one um, beads workshop and three hand lettering workshops. So 20 in total. So I think that was a really great weekend for the first time giving workshops and um, the people just they loved it and uh, the small kids they also really loved it and I really loved it and I think that's the most important that I loved it and I love to give it and to craft with them and to give them instructions, give them tips but really let them use their own creativity and that's what I love the most. So what I sold the most were the transparent stickers. So the transparent stickers are with 40 stickers in one bag. And I will let you see in my journal how they looked. So in here you see the uh, tulips and the butterflies. Those are the transparent stickers. Sold 14 of the individual bags. Then I had a deal of 3. And I sold 14 times 3 bags. And then a deal of six, and I sold 13 times six packs. So I sold those the most, and um, yes, th those were new. So, first time that I did bring these to the craft fair, so uh, they were really popular. And then, what also really sold quite well were the ceiling stickers. So, I have let me see. I have small ceiling stickers um, that you saw me pack in um, a, a studio block. Um, I sold 14 individual packs and there are 30 stickers in one pack. Then I sold 8 times 2 packs and 20 times 3 packs. So the 3 pack was um, really popular. And um, yeah, the other things also sold really well. The girl stickers, um, I sold 11 times one, one bag of 30 stickers and then three times for um, 30 stickers in a deal. So uh, those were the things that sold the most. And yeah, let me know what you think about it. Um, if you like that I do it in English again, seriously let me know, I would really love. Um, and what I want to do for my next videos is 
leave in the comments below a Christmas emoji so I know you watch till the end and I would really like to know and I really appreciate it then give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click the notification bell so you don't miss any video of me and yeah I really want to thank you and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.